quarterfinal started here in Miami on Wednesday with the bottom half of the draw as the players fought for a place in the last four of the Sony Ericsson Open. The first match of the day saw sixth seed Andy Roddick face off to Spaniard Nicolas Almagro for the very first time. Having never passed the third round here in four previous attempts, the 38th best player in the world surrendered his serve at the first time of asking and Roddick was finding it all too easy. Pretty comfortable at the moment for Roddick on the back of the court. Yeah. Lovely feel. Just coming inside the ball, taking all the pace off it. After taking the first set in just half an hour, Roddick continued his fine start in the second, determined to make amends for the way he began his fourth round match. At times, the Spaniard, appearing in his fifth career ATP World Tour 1000 quarterfinal, showed glimpses of the play that has got into this stage. Oh, that's good stuff. Best night of the match so far. But Roddick, yet to drop a set in the tournament this year, soon had a double break and his 24th match win of the season became a formality. He is now just one match away from his fourth final in six tournament appearances in 2010. Constructed the points wonderfully well there. Simple but effective tennis. I think given the option, you always want to keep the matches as as comfortable as possible. You know, as, as far as physically, mentally, um, you know, the, the ones that are that are the wars that you win are, are great for you. But um, I think you'll most players will always take the, the comfortable route if uh, if uh, given the option. After yesterday's fourth round exit from the Sony Ericsson Open, Fernando Gonzalez was back today talking to his fans to promote Champions for Chile, a charity event organized to raise funds for the victims of the recent devastating earthquake in his own country. Well, I'm promoting an event that we're making on Saturday after the latest finals. We're playing, I'm playing with Guga Kurten against Jim Kurret and Andy Roddick. All the money we get in tickets, we're going to send it straight to the victim of the earthquake in Chile. The night match was one to savour for the purists. Meeting for the sixth time was the flamboyant Frenchman Songa against world number four Rafael Nadal. By his own admission, Nadal recorded his first important victory since injury in defeating Songa when they last met at the Paris Masters in 2009. And the standard tennis from both men was extremely high from the very beginning. As we expect from the Frenchman appearing in his second straight quarter-final here, we were shown all the highs and the lows of his game. Such good variation within these rallies as well. Creating wonderful angles too. After that break, Nadal maintained his own high level, going on to take the set 6-3 in 48 minutes. Much like in the opening set, Nadal found himself under pressure in his first service game, but he dealt with it exceptionally, and after capitalising on the frustration building within the Frenchman, he broke serve in the next game. Songa did create chances time and time again, but was never quite able to find that vital breakthrough needed. What an athlete. And in just one and a half 
half hours of pulsating high quality tennis, Nadal reached the semi finals for the second consecutive week, ensuring his charge for the first title here in Miami remained on course. Two further matches tomorrow to determine the semi-finals, including Thomas Burdich, the man who took down world number one Roger Federer. Hi, I'm Fernando Verdasco, and I'm playing for a place in the semi-finals against Thomas Berdich in tennistv.com.